Welcome to Chatting the Pictures. My name is Kara Finnegan, and I'm a writer, teacher, and historian of photography. And I'm Michael Shaw. I'm a writer, a psychologist, and also publisher of Reading the Pictures. In its tone of resignation, this portrait from Java poignantly captures the unforgiving rise of the world's oceans and the ultimate fate of coastal communities around the globe. In February 2022, Giacomo Dorlando captured this portrait of Abdul Latif, a 62-year-old fisherman from Java, Indonesia. Due to the sea breaching the island, Abdul is struggling to find fish and spends more money on fuel than what he earns. His house flooded for the first time in 2008 and has been elevated twice since then. Climate change is affecting Java. Coastal flooding and erosion have caused rising sea levels, and experts predict that thousands of small islands and millions of houses will vanish by 2050. Two things the climate visuals say make for great climate photography are, first of all, showing real people affected by climate change, and secondly, showing local but serious impacts of climate events. Here, I think we see both of those elements. We see Mr. Latif and the child with him in his home, where they're both most obviously ankle deep in water. And that's definitely the first thing we notice. But after that, it doesn't really take all that long to look around the image to see what could likely be effects of previous flooding. The wall at the right is blue and black with what definitely looks like mold. The wall behind the television looks to have evidence of previous water damage as well. And then there's the fan, which itself is sitting in water. The literal danger of electrocution (laughs) seems to haunt this image in a way that points to the variety of the ways that climate change can have catastrophic consequences. Inside your home, you're not supposed to live in water. We definitely see that this is a home. It has a television. It has what looks to be family picture on the wall. There's a clock on the wall. We see some utensils scattered about. We see curtains that are visible. The photographer uses that kind of wide frame of that whole space to juxtapose that in a way that gives us the ability to see many of these things strangely reflected in the water that is pooled on the floor. So we get this kind of eerie doubling of all of the objects in the room. Another element of that juxtaposition, of course, is the television which is plugged in and it appears to be playing some kind of program featuring what look to be laughing young people. We're also invited, I think, to contrast their colorful gregariousness with the real people in this scene, the young boy and Mr. Latif himself, neither of whom seems to share the joy of the people on the television. This photograph is surprisingly infused with irony. And when you think about reflection conceptually, this is what We're lacking perhaps more than anything when it comes to climate change. The whole ability to see what's going on with us, to see it reflected back to us. The television really is provocative in a subtle way. The banality of the entertainment show is absolutely perfect. It makes me think of, you know, TV as the opiate of the masses, how we're distracting ourselves to death. We also need to pay attention to the gorgeously saturated colors. And at first glance, they seem to echo a bit of the happy visuals that we see on the television. You know, we have the bright pink of the curtain at the left that's echoed in the wrap worn by Mr. Latif. We have the green of the boy's shirt, which is echoed in the color of the walls. And then the yellow, that bright, saturated yellow on Mr. Latif's shirt picks up the yellow in that beautiful cabinet behind him, as well as the clothing of some of the women on the television. In short, some of the things that we tend to think make a photo seem joyous, such as bright, saturated colors, instead here are really being used to highlight the serious problem that's affecting this family and their community. Beautiful colors and the objects you pointed out in the style of this exquisite chest and the way it liquefies in the reflection. Also speak to a culture and how much more we're losing to climate. 